Hello, says friends, and welcome to the channel. Finally, I'm back home. I had a couple of days of vacation in Assisi with my family and my mother, and I will put some pictures on Twitter and also on Facebook. I'm a bit sorry because uh, uh, before leaving for my trip, I prepared two games that uh, I like to upload to the channel and to show you. But uh, the day before my trip, that it was uh, the last day of the Blitz session in Paris, I had allergy and uh, I couldn't breathe, so no videos. But I'm sorry for the videos, uh, but just because I like to say you my plans to say goodbye and see you in a couple of days. Anyways, in today's video, one of the Blitz games played in Paris, an interesting game uh, between Nepomniachi with the white pieces and Vashela Grav with black. It's, a, it's another anti Sicilian game because uh, Vashela Grav is well known to play a strong Sicilian game. Let's watch it together. Let's get started. Nepomniachi with the white pieces opens with d4 and Vashela Grav answers with the Sicilian defense c5. Instead of knight to f3, knight to c3, d6, and here comes f4, a sort of grand prix attack. g6, knight to f3, bishop to g7, and not the bishop in fiancetto, like in the close Sicilian, but bishop to c4. Knight to c6, short castle for white, and e6, black will develop the knight to e7 in the style of Botvinnik. Now, D3 is the most played move for white, but Stockfish and Neponiachi has a different idea. They like more D4. In fact, here comes D4. C captures on D4, and now Knight to B5, a good move. A6. Knight captures on D4, only 5 games in database, and Vashila Grab continues with Knight in G, goes to E7. But uh, there is a better idea. Let's go back one move. Instead of knight to e7, much better is to change the knight in the center of the board. Knight captures on d4, knight recaptures. Queen to c7, now attacking the bishop. The bishop will move back to b3 or to e2. Then knight to e7 and black becomes more active. Let's go back to our game. We said knight in g goes to e7. Now bishop back to b3, preventing b5 with tempo. Short castle for black and c3. Now, interesting move this c3 because it's more a prophylactic move, not because white will recapture the knight with the pawn, but probably just to um, close this file in case of a future rook to c8. After c3, the game is original and also equal. Knight captures on d4. As we said before, not C recapture, because watch what happens. If C captures now, here comes D5, E5, and after Bishop to D7 and Knight to F5, Black is still equal and probably also a bit better. So after C3 and Knight captures on D4, Nepomniachi recaptures with the Knight, better than the C capture. Here comes E5 and Knight back to F3. Let's go back one move. In this position, good is also f captures on e5, and in this position, not bishop captures because would be a terrible mistake. Let's watch. If bishop captures now, you notice that now the f5 is completely open and controlled by the white rook, so the bishop and the rook are watching f7. So if the bishop captures, here comes bishop to h6, the rook can't move away, so the black bishop must go back, queen to d2, and uh, of course white will change the bishop and white is better. So after f captures on e5, d captures is the best move, knight to c2, the queen in change, queen captures, rook captures, bishop to g4, attacking the rook, rook to d3, rook in f goes to d8, rook captures with check. Rook captures, bishop to g5 attacking the knight, rook to d7, knight to e3 against the bishop, bishop back to e6, and you notice what is the problem here. Bishop captures, f captures, rook to d1, and white is better. Not only because of the pawn structure, this is something that we will watch also at the end of the game, but also because this knight... 
has no big uh, prospects in the future, and this bishop is much worse than white's bishop. So let's go back to our game. We said e5, not f captured, that it was a good move, but knight back to f3. Queen to c7, and this is a real mistake. Why a mistake? Because uh, queen to b6, we check, is the good move. A good move because it gains one tempo, and uh, black really needs this tempo to uh, be able to develop the dice square bishop. After queen to c7, f captures on e5, d captures, and now knight to g5, attacking f7 a third time, and also controlling e6. Queen to b6 we check now. King to h1, bishop to e6 is the only move uh, to add a third protection to f7, but here comes knight captures on e6, f captures, and now white is much better. Bishop to g5 against the knight, rook captures on f1 we check, the queen recaptures, and rook to e8 protecting the knight. Rook to d1 uh, controlling this very important d5, here comes h6 and bishop back to h4. Now in this position, even if uh, white will remain better, g5 is the move to play, let's watch what happens. If g5 now bishop back to f2 against the queen, queen to c6 still protecting the pawn, and queen to d3 protecting e4, but with the idea of queen to d7, he changing the queens and probably winning the end game because um, of the pawn structure and also the bishop pair and uh, uh, this bishop that is not good and this knight that uh, probably the only good maneuver is uh, to bring the knight to um, f4 even if there is g3 and then a 3 versus 2 on the queen side so this is uh, um, a winning end game for white uh, at uh, this level so anyway g5 was the best move instead of the bishop to h4 here comes king to h7 and this is a blunder that uh, we lose the game on the spot nepomniachi continues with queen to f7 second attack against the knight also attacking the unprotected rook one of these two pieces will be lost and vashela grav resigns so what do we learn from this game? We learn that uh, against the Grand Prix attack or the close Sicilian or some other types uh, of anti-Sicilians, black must play really energetically since the opening because white is losing time to create the anti-Sicilian setup and it's there that black uh, must take the initiative. So I hope that uh, you liked uh, this short game. Uh, if you did, of course, please don't forget to like the video because it's good for the channel. Don't forget, uh, if you're new to the channel, to subscribe because in a few days uh, a couple of very important tournaments will begin in St. Louis in the United States with Magnus Carlsen, Wesley So, Caruana and all the best. For now, I thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.